Hey guys, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights. I have an unboxing video for you today. This one I picked up recently from Zara and the notes is what convinced me to blind buy this one. So it's called Zara Nocturnal Life. It's an eau de parfum. It says chapter number one in the back. And I picked this one up for $22.95. And so there's a little right up here. Oh, by the way, it's an 80 mil. And the right up here says, sheltered from the wind in the hollow of a floral arabesque of dunes. The sparkling sun sets the sand ablaze with the flamboyant tones of tonka bean and chocolate. And so I looked on the website and other notes in this one, if I remember correctly, there's chocolate, orange, tonka bean, and incense. And I think there was like cocoa instead of chocolate. I can't remember exactly now, but uh, something like that. In any case, that sounded really, really interesting to me. Uh, the combination of chocolate and incense to me sounds amazing. So yeah, I picked this one up and I just want to unbox it and give you guys my first sniff and first impression of it. And let's see if this was a successful blind buy. Okay. Okay. Let's just slide this out. All right, so it's a very, very heavy bottle. Uh, it looks similar to many of their other bottles in their collection. And Let's get a sniff of this one. So an incense-y gourmand, gourmand is what I'm expecting it to smell like. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> this smells very, very familiar. Wow. So this is spicy, sweet, boozy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a dupe of a very, very popular scent. Actually, a few very popular scents, which I own. So <laughs> I'm going to grab those two out of my collection and show you what I think it smells like. Okay, so Zara Nocturnal Life reminded me immediately of this Hermes scent. It's from their Hermescence collection and it's called Ombre Narguilé. One of my most favorite gourmand scents of all time. I think it was popular, let's say, I'm gonna guess around 10 years ago and then I didn't really hear many people talk about it since then, but I absolutely love this scent. This one reminds me of apple pie, maybe some tobacco, some sweetness, some spices, but basically warm apple pie baking in the oven with some extra cinnamon and nutmeg on top. It is so, so, so delicious. And I love this one, particularly in colder weather, fall, winter, it just smells so good. And the sillage of this scent is stunning. So Nocturnal Life reminds me of Ombre Narguilé, which also reminds me of a scent from Killian, which is called Angel Share. And this one is so, so, so popular right now. It's been very popular since um, it was released. And this one gives me the same vibes or similar vibes to Ombre Narguilé. I get that apple pie, cinnamon, nutmeg, warm, cozy, gourmand kind of thing. But also there's rum or whiskey in here. I don't remember which one, but it adds a nice um, booziness to it as well. So I love both so, so, so much. Um, 
definitely these two would be in my top 10 gourmands of all time out of every single thing that I've smelled <laughs> so far. And yeah, nocturnal life. Back to the nocturnal life. Definitely giving me those vibes for sure. <laughs> At a fraction of the price for $22.95. Let's see what else I can pick out from here. Okay. Okay, so there's something sharp in the background of Nocturnal Life. Something like really sharp, and I don't know exactly what it is, but it is sticking out to me. <laughs> The notes of chocolate, I'm not really thinking of chocolate at all. Orange, I'm not thinking about either. Tonka bean, yes, a really nice sweet tonka bean or vanilla. And spices, definitely, I'm, I'm thinking of with nocturnal life. And incense. Yeah, a little bit of smokiness as well in the background. But it's not prominent. I think the most prominent note for me with Nocturnal Life is probably a spicy kind of booziness to it. Now I'm going to spray Angel Share um, just to compare the two really quickly. Mm, it's so so yummy. <laughs> I never get tired of Angel Share. Okay. So smelling them side by side. They're similar. I like the Angel Share more so far. But yeah, that first sniff of the Nocturnal Life definitely will give you Ombre Narguilé slash Angel Share vibes. It's not coming off very strong on the test strip here. I am curious how it will be on skin. And I am getting some kind of like cold sharpness to it, which I don't really know what that's all about. But it is so far a very nice scent in the same family as the other scents that I just mentioned a dupe or yeah very similar to those two popular scents so do i like nocturnal life yes so far i do i love these other two so yeah this would be a nice alternative i think i'm curious how this will dry down on skin so i will be testing this one very very soon on skin but first impression is it is very, very nice and very, very similar to Angel Share and Ombre Nargule, but more so Angel Share, I would say, because I am getting more of a boozy note in here, but also those spicy notes and kind of that apple pie kind of thing going about. Yeah, this is nice so far. Nocturnal Life from Zara. So if you guys have tried Zara Nocturnal Life, I would love to hear your opinion about it down in the comments. Do you think it smells like Angel Share or Aubrey Nargile or both? Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.